Um... Yes. Uh, uh, Princess Ivy! I was raised in Pale Sands. Okay... Why are you telling me this? You said you dislike unknown quantities. So, I am going to tell you everything about myself. Then, I will be known. Not the worst idea, I'll grant you. Once you come to know me, we will no longer be princess and retainer, but friend and friend. It is worth trying, at least. Uh... <laughs> what else can I tell you? I have two siblings, brother and sister, both younger, very cute. My father has great swordsmanship, but my mother has strange powers, which perhaps came to me. I care very much for my family, but I have also long dreamed to see the world at large. That is why I explained to them in writing my decision to leave, and I am on this journey now. <sighs> oh no, uh, have I done something wrong? How foolish of me. I should not have presumed you would wish to hear my entire life story. Please forgive me, Princess Ivy. I should have noticed sooner it was not what she wanted. No, that's not it. On the contrary, I am actually... rather pleased. I had no idea that becoming friends with me was so important to you. I'm flattered. Thank you. Uh, you are too kind. I don't dislike you, Kagetsu. I do dislike unknowns. They make me wary. But that doesn't mean I dislike you as a person. And after today, I think it's safe to say my impression of you has improved. Wonderful. So... We may become friends soon? Not the worst idea. Panette? Please explain yourself. I promised we were going somewhere special. Well, here it is. When I said that I'd like for us to be friends, I did not realize that would entail visits to ancient... decayed... Ruins? Precisely! Doesn't it make your heart quicken? Excessively so, I'm afraid. I feel as if a vengeful ghost could steal upon us at any moment. I know, it is ever so charming. You find it charming? Ghosts? You find the idea of ghosts charming? Why, of course! I simply adore them! I suppose I ought to thank you. This place is special to you. For that reason, I appreciate your sharing it with me. Unfortunately, people have a wide variety of tastes. Oh dear, you are not by any chance afraid of ghosts, are you? I am, in fact, terrified to the very brink of my composure. The stain on the wall like a human silhouette. The hand prints on the windows. The stale air. It is only by force of will that I remain here. Conscious, not screaming. My dignity hangs by one last thread of decorum. The pride I take in my royal office. That thread is about to snap. Yes, it will snap any moment now. Even a princess is only human after all. So, with that, I'm getting out of here! Good heavens! Princess Ivy, slow down! How come you've never told me off for running away from home? Why would I? I was glad you got out when you did. Huh. I always imagined you'd hold a grudge against me for flying the coop. Nah. I just wasn't brave enough to do likewise. Wasn't sure I could make it alone. Meanwhile, look at you. A retainer. You struck out on your own and made a life for yourself. I'll bet those parents of ours would be glad to see how well you're doing. I doubt it. They probably don't care about me one way or another. <sighs> Listen, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm not one to keep secrets. Mom and Dad tried to find you. What? Wolf dung? There's no way. <laughs> I was surprised too. Maybe they were just concerned about keeping up appearances. Hard to say. At any rate, that's the truth. 
I figured you should know. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? Andreo, I'm sorry, but after thinking about it, I'm going to pass on the party invitation. Ah, your schedule's full? That's too bad. Maybe next time. No, it's not about my schedule. Oh, then can I ask why? From a distance, people may see me as a... a god, but up close, I'm nothing special. Why disappoint everyone by letting them find out that the Divine Dragon is just... a person? That's what you're worried about? I must have given you the wrong impression. Listen, when I was a boy, you saved my life. What? How? I was asleep. Well, my parents were... scummy, frankly. They left my sister and me when we were little. But a priest at the church turned my life around with a little-known prophecy. When the dragon child rises from their slumber on the dais, saved the world will be. <laughs> Screwed up as the world got, it would be saved. That gave me the hope I needed to keep going, and I'm not alone. The faithful have always believed that you would awaken. So no, you won't disappoint them. You're living proof that their hopes are coming to pass. I understand now. All right, Pandreo. You've convinced me. I'll come to that party of yours. Thank you! Thank you! Everyone will be thrilled to see you there. <laughs> Gold Mary! Are you okay? Oh, Divine One. Did the sound of my soul in anguish finally get your attention? I'm so glad. What's wrong? Talk to me. I'm here to help. It's just that... I can't possibly be any more charming. Uh... what? Everyone always says I'm the most popular woman in the world. But if you're immune to my charms... I know that can't be true. My confidence is shattered. So here I stand. My tears flowing freely like two rivers of glittering diamonds. Uh, look, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings somehow. I really didn't mean to. No, please don't apologize. Only tell me what I can do to earn your affection. You don't need to do anything special. I already think you're quite charming. You do? <laughs> you think I'm charming? Of course. And it's not just me, you know. Everyone loves you. So don't feel like you have to push yourself so hard over this, okay? <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just so relieved. Thank you. As a token of my appreciation, you may admire my perfect tears a while longer. Um, okay. Thanks. I am Bune, Royal Soldier of Soul. My loss, but your gain.
Amber, the Alpaca Wrangling Master. I'm crushed, but you look really cool. Obviously. Ivy, Crown Princess of Illusia. I am Alcrest, a prince of Brodia. Well fought.
Do you think you can make it look nice? I'll ask for help again if the ring needs cleaning. Handle that gently. Well done. The ring shines like new. A good cleaning is in order. Sparkling clean. Bravo! Make it sparkle! Ah, that looks good, thanks! Can you make it shine? Is it clean now? <laughs> Wonderful! Cleaning the ring? Good. <laughs> Looks good. Thank you. This ring is filthy. you. Let's clean this up. That was nice of you. Thank you. How did this ring get so dirty? You did a wonderful job! That should help. Where does the not bath? <sighs> what fine care you've taken.
I am Diamant, Crown Prince of Brodia. I'm Roy. I'll be your opponent. <laughs> Still stand! Yeah. Well fought. I must train my skills. Thank you for sparring with me. You studied the art of statecraft, right, Roy? I know I could learn some things from you. All I've ever learned is how to act like a lord. As long as it involves that, I'm happy to share.
It's me, the Brodian prince who isn't Diamant. My name is Corin. Ready to fight. This loss pains me. I'm sorry. Are you hurt? You're so strong, Lady Corin. As expected of a dragon from another world. Next to you, I... I... Don't be so down on yourself, Alchrist. We held our own in the last battle, didn't we? 